hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in our previous discussion related to fluid mechanics we discussed uh, about uh, the different types of fluid flow uh, basically streamlined flow steady flow then laminar flow turbulent flow so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, two important parameters associated with uh, the liquid flows that is Reynolds number and critical velocity which determine whether the flow of liquid in a pipe or a vessel it is streamlined or turbulent so just a quick recap there are two types of liquid, clo uh, liquid flow uh, the liquid flow can be divided into two categories streamlined and turbulent Streamline is well defined, the path is well defined, organized and fixed velocities at each point which is given by drawing tangent to the curved path. Okay, The velocity at each point is fixed. The velocity is not constant throughout but at each point in that well defined curved path it is fixed and that is given by drawing tangent to that curve path. So I have elaborated it in the previous discussion so please watch the previous video first. Okay and turbulent flow is basically the opposite of uh, the uh, streamlined steady flow path. It is you know completely disorganized it is not well defined different velocities at different points in different directions so the it, it is it is uh, just the opposite of streamline or steady flow so as i was saying turbulent flow is just the opposite of uh, streamline or steady flow where streamline flow is well defined uh, fixed velocities at each point. Turbulent flow is just the opposite. It is uh, disorganized and uh, random in nature. So here there are two important things that determine whether the flow of uh, fluid in a vessel or a pipe is streamlined or turbulent. So here also if we if we want to visualize turbulent flow then the easiest way to do it is to pass a liquid flowing at low velocity through a narrow obstruction a narrow point as a result of which the velocity is increased it is accelerated and just near the constriction eddies are formed whirlpools and then the flow becomes turbulent so if you if you want to see if uh, you know uh, just near an opening in a pipe when fluid is rushed at a certain velocity it is accelerated and then at the opening on the other side the fluid becomes turbulent so just before the constriction on the left hand side the fluid is streamlined steady then on the right hand side just near the constriction eddies are formed whirlpools are formed form and then it becomes turbulent the flow becomes turbulent so generally steady flow occurs at low velocities low speeds turbulent flow at high velocity when the velocity of the liquid increases it becomes turbulent so here two such important parameters which determine the nature of fluid flow they are Reynolds number and critical velocity so here Reynolds number decides whether the flow of liquid in a pipe is streamlined or laminar or turbulent. So as I was saying when the velocity is small the flow is smooth it is steady it is streamlined or laminar flow but when it is increased the velocity is gradually increased a stage is reached where the liquid flow becomes turbulent. So that threshold value, that threshold velocity that is called as critical velocity which we will be discussing in just a while. But the Reynolds number it gives us 
the whether the liquid flow particular type of liquid flow is steady or turbulent so reynolds number is expressed as this equation nr reynolds number which is equal to rho v capital d by eta here capital d is the diameter of the pipe through which liquid is flowing okay the diameter of the pipe then v is the velocity of the fluid flow liquid flow average velocity rho is the density of the liquid flowing through the pipe and eta is the coefficient of viscosity so we have discussed about viscosity and coefficient of viscosity so this is the reynolds number so here there are three cases if the reynolds number is less than 2000 then flow is streamlined or steady if it is greater than 3000 okay if it is greater than 3000 flow is turbulent but if the reynolds number lies in between 2000 and 3000 the flow is you know it is neither streamlined or turbulent it is unstable and it changes frequently from one form to another it is not you know uh, in one you know one pattern whether it is only streamlined or only turbulent constantly changes from one pattern to the other so if it is lesser than 2000 it is streamlined steady if it is greater than 3000 it is turbulent and if it is in between it is unstable okay so this is reynolds number another important parameter which is critical velocity which gives us the threshold value where up to which if the velocity of the liquid flow reaches beyond which the liquid flow will become turbulent that is given as critical velocity okay so it is the velocity of liquid flow up to which the velocity up to this velocity the liquid flow is steady if the velocity is increased beyond this critical velocity value this threshold velocity value the flow will become turbulent so this critical velocity is given by vc critical velocity 1100 eta by r rho okay 1100 eta by r rho so here eta is the coefficient of viscosity r is the radius of the pipe through which the liquid is flowing and rho is the density of the liquid so here if the velocity of liquid is lesser than vc it is steady steady flow if the velocity of the liquid is greater than vc it is turbulent flow okay vc is the threshold velocity separating steady flow and turbulent flow. okay so here this is the critical velocity formula so there are two important parameters here okay which uh, determine whether the liquid flow or fluid flow is turbulent or steady first one is the reynolds number okay and turbulent or streamlined it is determined as per this relationship the first one is that second one is critical velocity given by this formula and these are the important conditions okay lesser than vc steady greater than vc turbulent okay so here we have discussed about reynolds number and critical velocity so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much